Let's move. All aboard. Who ready to roll? Ha! <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Capricorn between the 1st and the 15th of November. Um, to all of my new subscribers, to all of my old subscribers, y'all, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, thank you so very much. The comments, I read every single comment. Thank you so very much. I may not have time to reply, y'all, because I'm a busy girl. I'm not complaining. I'm thankful. You know, I remember I, I remember crying in my room waiting for a reading to come through. Now I'll be like, oh, shit. <laughs> but again, I'm not complaining. I'm very thankful. I love connecting with everybody, but y'all bear with me. Um, This is not personal. It's general. If you need a personal that information can be found below within the description. Um, and I currently have a $15 off sale for my 30 through 60 minute sessions. So get that in because it ends November 1st. If this is your first time to my channel, hey boo hey. I may cuss a little, I may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing is not for you, baby, this is not your channel because I ain't changing shit up. This is my shit. Okay, okay. But I love you long time. Um, you guys, whoo. It's been quite the journey, quite the journey. Um, as I meditated and I tuned into your energy, the intuitive messages that um, Goddess Isis wanted to get across because, y'all, this has been very interesting. I've been having goddess transactions. <laughs> the intuitive messages, um, my intuition's been working a bit different, so when I feel certain things in my heart, I hear certain things when my ear get to sounding like a fax machine. I begin to just doodle, 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 doodle. Do. Look what the hell y'all did, okay? Y'all like Scorpio. Filled up the whole damn, okay. So intuitively, what I felt, and it actually when I began to uh, shuffle your angel message and your spirit message, it definitely resonated and coincided with my intuitive messages. So I was going to start with that. The words that I got was... Divine love, forgiveness, sacrifice, anxiety, highly aware, forward movement, past deceptions, rejection, fears, family issues, insomnia, hereditary bondage, past life, counselor, love, Dreams, visions, premonition, twin soul, judgment, manipulation, regret, knowledge, remorse, full moon, sacred, trust, indecision, paternity, lust, death, health, addictions, releasing, loneliness while partnered. This full moon in Taurus, I do know it's going to affect your full house, which could have to do with balance. It's going to kind of bring you that balance between home and the work life, as well as kind of force you in the corner to bring in, to, to force you to heal, to bring in new love. And intuitively, some of y'all already know shit's going to hit the fan, okay? So we rock it. <clears throat> that was your intuitive messages. And y'all let me know how that resonates. Um, because that, those were the vibrations that came through extremely strong. Okay. Your first message comes from the Doreen Virtue, Crystal Angels Oracle Card Deck. And the message that you guys got was Diamond. Value your self-worth. You are God's precious gem. Diamonds are wonder are wonderful symbols of how beautiful being un, of how being under pressure can lead to beauty. After all, diamonds are formed by pressure on the carbon element that composes them. Perhaps you've been under strain recently or in a significant period of your life. All the stress or trauma you've endured has made you who you are. This card comes to you as a reminder that you are God's precious diamond. Although you've been through a lot, God's strength has always supported you and always will. Now it's time for you to recognize just how valuable you are. Just as you would only choose diamonds that are minded in a that are minded in the humane, fair trade way, so too do you want to treat yourself with kindness and fairness. 
This may mean developing an assertive style of communication where you show yourself respect and teach others to respect you too. Put some respect on my name. That's not my name, your video, because this is all I see. Capricorn, during this time, a lot of you guys really need to use your intuition because your intuition will be extremely heightened during the 1st and the 15th of November. Some of you all may have dreams, prophetic dreams, or some type of premonition, premonitory, especially when you're outside. A lot of you guys are going to receive a mass download in nature during this time. If you are not the type to sit outside, you need to get your ass out there because spirit is trying to tell you something. Some of you all may be seeing owls during this time, and some of you all may be surrounded by spiders. Those spiders signify um looks like some type of um abundance or nudeness okay or a recreation of something all right but some of you all do not take this intuitive information that you see beforehand some of you all may be having a lot of deja vu moments during this time as well spirit does not want you to use your intuition okay from a dark place okay and this it's a little dark so you may see this owl but you may not see this dark from here the shadows. Some of you all during this time are really going to be able to see your shadow side and I feel like it has to do with holding on to things that no longer serve you pretty much by any means necessary and I feel like that's very unhealthy. Some of you all during this time are really needing to connect with your emotions and not overthinking things because I feel like overthinking things are keeping you in this stagnant place. Spirit is going to be sending you that massive download. Your crown chakra will be booming, okay? You are going to communicate with spirit more than you ever have in your entire life for some of you during this time. And I feel like we're already there. But between the 1st and the 15th of November, only thing that you need to do is stay receptive and be accepting to what it is that spirit is trying to show you. I don't give a fuck if you don't like it. Spirit don't care if you don't like it. At this point, it's about you using your emotions and being 100 percent in tune with your emotions because some of y'all are overthinking shit and in the midst of you overthinking things you're doubting yourself and staying stagnant in situations that are taking you that are that, that are preventing you from being grounded some of y'all are addicted and i feel like the addiction is to chaos for a lot of you all and i feel like subconsciously this is not anything that maybe you've come to terms with some of you all are needing to speak your truth and really, really, really set some clear boundaries because I feel like you have this all knowing, but you ain't saying shit and you holding on to things that are unhealthy for you. You're not speaking these truths, but you're walking around with this damn grudge and it's fucking up your way to abundance. Period. Point blank. Some of you all, there's a strong need to forgive. Don't forget, not eat mother. I not. I didn't tell you to be no fool. Mocha will never. Y'all family. I will never, ever, 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 ever tell you to be no fool. But I will say forgive, so that you don't prevent yourself from moving forward, or for that matter, for receiving the blessings that spirit is trying to bestow unto you. Some of you all are going to be forced to answer the counselors. People come to you, and some of you are probably ask yourself, "Why the fuck?" <clears throat> <clears throat> Do I find myself in these during the situations? And why the hell everybody want to come to me for advice? Because you are a spiritual teacher. You are a spiritual counselor. That is your superpower. Your wisdom. Your movements towards growth. Some of the fucked up stuff you went through, you went through it because it uh, it, it, it pushed your soul into this particular positive ev evolution. That's going to bring others out of that darkness. Once you choose to remove yourself from that period of stagnancy, some of y'all could also have a new love that is extremely intuitive. Some of y'all could also have a child that is a psychic. You're coming to terms that you have a earth angel as a child. Some of you all, you have a child that's been reincarnated and it has to do with hereditary bondage. Some of you all could have lost a child years ago. I feel like for some of you all who lost a child a year ago, some of you all could have recently had a child or you're getting ready to have a child in the month of November. Mocha love the kids, but look at this child's eyes. This child will look real familiar by the eyes. That child came back because I feel like some of you all, and I'm not going to cry, but some of you all lost a child in the midst of discord and chaos. Somebody, I'm speaking to more than one person, Spirit said, I'm speaking to about four people who watch me. You lost a child in the midst of chaos. In the midst of that chaos, there could have been paternity issues going on with this child. There could have been, but I feel like this is, it's like a hereditary cycle. And there's this fear that you live in that something's going to happen to your child. Spirit wants you to know that that child is going to make it here just fine. You need to take care of yourself better. 
and stop being the maker of your damn destiny because your thoughts are very, very, very strong during this time. And a lot of you all are manifesting bullshit by thinking and giving the bullshit in your brain power because you're overthinking things some of you all are focused on financial aspects about life but you're not respecting your feelings and you're not allowing other, you're not making other people who want to share that energy and be in your energy respect your feelings some of y'all are surrounded by takers some of y'all are and some of y'all are straight up sleeping with the enemy period not gonna fake it because spirit is trying to give you a divine love they're not it, it's done being we're done sugarcoating things okay because spirit is trying to give you something during this time. Some of you all, there's a focus here to work on your root chakra. Some of y'all may be having some wild ass dreams with the insomnia that showed up. Some of y'all during this time right now, and it's going to continue during the 1st to the 15th of November because some of y'all are running away from a calling. So since spirit can't get your, act, get your attention and get you to act right in the midst of you being awake, when you're consciously aware, some of you all are going, it's, your dreams finna be lit period but they're very revealing and they're trying to tell you what you already have an overstanding of not an understanding you have an overstanding and an inner knowing and you're choosing to stay still and spirit is going to remove some things in your life to assist you and you nurturing your heart and they're trying to give you this newness possibly someone again whose third eye is wide open and very 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 intuitive someone was sent here to open your heart chakra you need to balance your root chakra and be outside more. Some of you all may be feeling extremely sexual. Some of you all who are trying to have a baby, baby, this new moon phase is going to be your bestest friend. This Taurus new moon will bring you newness. But something has to go. You have to be willing to sacrifice something. For some of you all, you're dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so you could be finding out it's pregnant. This could also be your child, okay? This could be um, someone who you have a child with already, okay? For some of you all, this could also be um, some of y'all have a partner that got caught up in a third-party situation and have a child. And some of y'all have an inner knowing of it, but you're needing to take the damn mask off, deal with it, take the blindfold off, and you're needing to see it. Because I feel like this is somebody who you've been on their ass about respecting your union, respecting your love, and you've given, 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 give what? Like y'all ass, like I told cancer, because some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer, they in here. What more can you give? You're needing to take the mask off. And see the beauty within yourself. In order for you to appreciate the substance and not move in a place of fear of this soulmate relationship. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with water and air. Capricorn, Taurus, I'm sorry, Capricorn. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like it is the releasing of some air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And right after you have either fire, strong Leo up in this thing and strong Cancer vibes up in here coming in. But I feel like in order for you to truly receive this love, your lesson, your lesson, my baby, for those of you, and this is what Venus in Scorpio is going to bring into your life, whether you want to or not. Some of y'all are kicking and screaming, but you're going to let it go because they have to do with your soul contract. This is what you signed up to come to this earth and resolve. Spirits say, it's time to put in that work. Show a motherfucker how to put some respect on it. Because some of y'all have people in y'all energy who are so disrespectful that it makes your damn head spin. How many times can you get slapped in the face before your fucking head spin? Come on now, somebody. Let's get it. Some of y'all have a cancer trying to come in. This person feels you. They don't just hear you. They feel you. So that fear of vulnerability or fear of being hurt or fear that you're trying to take into another relationship that you've possibly been moving through relationships with bringing that in, you need to close the door to that. It can't come. It can't come on the way to your new beginnings and beautiful things are being, being birthed. But you're needing to be reflective and you need to take the mask off and truly be willing to see the substance within the self. And how this person who is full of deception really reflects you because this person, for some of y'all, they got daddy issues. For some of y'all, they have mama issues. And for some of you, you could have that same fucking issue, but you like attracts like. And so this is what's preventing your new beginning. Some of you all, your lesson is to simply let 
go versus staying in some shit and giving, 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 yet feeling stuck when you hold the keys to, unlo to, to, to free yourself. You ain't stuck to not a motherfucker. Not nobody. You're needing to get the lesson, baby. Free yourself. This is a time to free yourself, but it starts with somebody putting some motherfucking respect on your name. During this time, God's going to be making judgment calls. Some of you all, it's rather to resurrect a family situation or just to dead that shit and walk away from it because it's no longer serving you. Some of you all are juggling a, juggling a situation. Do I stay in these turbulent ass waters with an individual who's possibly juggling me? You could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. And to be honest, Capricorn, this could be your ass. Juggling another earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I strongly feel like children are involved here. Somebody's not making a decision due to children. And they block and they bless them. But you got to understand you got these children in this damn discord. You don't think children are empathic. Just because children don't speak about things don't mean they don't have a knowing or they don't know. Some of y'all have earth angel children. These children already, they could tell you up and down what the hell you came here for. They get the lesson. You ain't got to get it. What you scared for. Some of y'all have a new beginning with the cancer. Some of y'all, there's new love trying to come in, but you're needing to heal from holding, needing to heal from things that no longer serve you. You done already blew the whistle on that shit. What you still living in that place for? Forgive the other person. Forgive yourself for being naive and forgive yourself for holding it that long and let that shit go. Extract it. Go give it to Mother Earth. She want it. Because it's heavy, baby, and you got to put it down. Some of y'all could also be finding out um, through fraternity tests that someone else was juggling. And I felt intuitively you wanted this relationship. You even wanted that baby, but there's a part of you who knew it. You did not want to see it, but you knew it. Some of you, this could be your partner. Some of you could actually be finding out about someone juggling by stalking. Some of y'all have an a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this person communicates childlike. This person is also watching you, looking for some shit, because they're going to try to use you and your actions. This person has accountability issues. They don't want to take accountability for the fact that they could be the one here juggling and possibly made a child, so they're going to try to blame you. And your inner issue is you have some type of, what? why am I not good enough? Or for that matter, you want to compete to prove to this person that you're good enough, but this person don't even see the value within itself, let alone you. So you what you expected something that's impossible from, from a motherfucker who don't love themselves. They ain't even sure of themselves. I feel like you're dealing with a very finicky energy. Some of you all could be keeping an eye out or keeping this lookout. Or some of you all feel like you got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio stalking you. Don't nobody got to stalk you when they psychic. This could be you to the other person as well. Some of y'all could actually, in the midst of be of, of watching, okay, of, of looking and seeing what the hell you can see during this time, is going to find out, all right, that you have, um, that you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who is dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And some of you all, some of y'all, this could also involve a Sagittarius juggling. I feel like somebody going to find some shit out while looking for something. Some of y'all getting ready to cut off a Pisces. Or cut off a Sagittarius. Some of y'all are gonna possibly cut off a uh, cut off a Sagittarius to move towards a Pisces, or vice versa, cut off a Pisces to move towards a Sagittarius. But some of y'all have been very, very, very patient. Okay, possibly with an air sign as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But that shit, y'all finna walk away from that shit. You leaving that shit where it's at, okay? And trust me, if you want a new beginning, believe that you are lovable and you can have it. Your thoughts, your thoughts. Are what are the seeds to your beliefs? Your beliefs are the plants that grow from your intentions that you set, which is the manifestations in which you actually move forward towards, and you can see them on the surface. Some of you all are definitely needing to walk away from your past. Some of you all are going to possibly be walking away from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and some of you guys, some of you guys are definitely wanting to give an offer. I feel like you want to give this offer or receive this offer from another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but you're really in your head because some of y'all having to leave somebody behind in order to accept an offer. 
And some of y'all are really just optimistic about the offer. You feel like it's a setup. They're trying to come for you. No, it's not a setup, but it is a past life relationship. Some of you guys are stuck in a past life relationship, allowing someone to make you feel as if you're not good enough, as if you don't have enough when you still got them damn two cups to pick up and keep fucking marching, okay? When the saints go marching in, because some of you all are dealing with someone who have defensive energy, or maybe you're defensive toward this person. You could even have children toward this with this person. So you, you try to transform the relationship. You try to, you know, start over. You always try to, you're the one that's always offering this reconciliation, but spirits say, let that shit die. Some of y'all are dealing with a Scorpio, but this is a part of your transformation. It has to do with your past life lesson. You hold the keys. You hold the keys to your happiness as well as the information to the things that you do not want to see. However, some of y'all want to hold on to that hurt instead of moving upright, taking it and moving forward with it. Okay? It's the greatest pain that brings the greatest wisdom to you. All right? It's just how you choose to look at the lesson. Some of y'all are trying to put in work. Okay? Put in. Some of y'all are trying to put in all of this effort and keep taking these half-assed offers from somebody who's extremely fucking toxic. They showed you once, they showed you twice, and if you keep trying to work on this shit, they're going to show you because spirit is trying to show you, baby, it's time to move away. Some of y'all are moving away from a family situation, possibly with an earth sign. It don't matter the sign. Some of y'all could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this person is moving away from you to go recreate a family. This could also be you. Some of y'all are, some of y'all beefing with some of y'all are beefing with a Leo or a Sagittarius due to the fact that they have a lot of options. This person could have put you in a third party situation in the past and you find out about it. Okay, but there's definitely some, yeah, some of y'all, hmm, some of y'all could be fighting with an air sign regarding information about an Aries that you receive. Okay, some of y'all could also be fighting with a, uh, any fire sign, but I feel like it's having to do with children for some of you all. Some of y'all could also be going through custody battles during this time, and it will work in your favor. I'm seeing that you are going to manifest what it is that you like, and you're going to get it exactly how you like, but you have to have the strength and the courage to move forward. Some of y'all want to manifest a new beginning with a fire sign. Some of y'all, you want it with, a, uh, with an Aquarius. Some of y'all want to start y'all own damn business, but you've been scared to make that move. Spirit say jump off the cliff, baby. It's time for you to have it. Some of y'all are wondering why your finances feel stagnant or you're stuck like you can't move. Your reason why is because spirits say the person who you with, ain't, it ain't meant for them to eat with you. They can't, they trying to come up off you, not with you. You understand? And until you see that and move forward, when you move forward, then the blockages of your coin, un then, then spirit unasses your coin because that is your blessing. That's a your blessing, not a y'all blessing. But it's going to come after a period of deception and feeling stabbed in the back. The straw that broke the camel's back, here it come. So get ready because... This fucking full moon in Taurus didn't come to play. And it's Venus retrograde and Scorpio joining it with having to do with Pluto, the afterlife. You know what I'm saying? Deaths and rebirths. Past life karma, past life shit. Okay? The veil, what veil? It ain't thin no more. It's no more. So you can see smooth through people's bullshit and you need to find that balance within yourself. Recognize, embrace your dark side. Acknowledge it because the first step to recovery is acknowledgement. Acknowledge it because you have to make a free will choice to come on to this light, Carolyn. Because as soon as you get there, you get love. You get a relationship that can be nurtured. You get that stability and that love all together, but it comes with balance. You get that creation. For those of you who've been trying to have a baby, that's not your partner who you're supposed to have it with. Get your ass to your Pisces, Libra, Aries, uh, Virgo, or this damn Taurus. Some of you need to go in this period of solitude to find out what exactly it is that I'm passionate about. Where do my passions lie? What do I want? For some of you, you're going to find out it's in a Leo. But you got to be real with yourself. And you got to understand that you're going to have to leave somebody out. You're going to have to sacrifice something to get some. Move away from it. Deception. Some of y'all getting used for money. You stand in a relationship with somebody who ain't doing nothing but asking you with their damn hand out. I owe you, hello. I owe you, little homie. That you owe me that for pain and suffering. Come on now, y'all. Y'all gotta make that move. Communicate. Some of y'all dealing with an air sign who don't know how to fuck to talk to you. Intuitively, you already know the shit shot the shit. But you gotta be willing to take that stand and make this person, baby, put some respect on it. Free yourself, babe. Mocha wants you to win. Free yourself because it ain't nothing but winning in these cards if you choose to free yourself. 
Some of y'all are in narcissistic situations. You want to leave. The other person want to leave. But there's this sense of one-upping or fear what other people going to say. And so somebody is literally trying to pull the damn strings how they want it to go. And instead of being an upright adult, they're going to point the finger at you for their own fucking deception. Well, it's your fault because the five years ago, you made me feel dead that. Dead that at the door. Deal with the emotion that this person sur surfaces for you with their deception because I feel like it has to do with rejection. Okay? Acceptance. I feel like it has to do with fears, fears of change, fears of moving forward, comfortable, you being comfortable. You ain't going to find success and comfort unless you create it like the cardinal that you are. Some of you all are going to see a lot of birds during this time. Those birds and messengers, they also bring you messages and they're overseers. Some of you all are seeing two, 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 four, four, four. Five, 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 because change is coming. Balance and structure is coming into your life, and it may cause some, some, some ripples and change. Is you ready? Because if you're ready, you ain't got to get ready. But this is what I have for my babies. Between the 1st and the 15th for the sign of Capricorn, y'all use y'all intuition. Somebody finna get y'all some communication, and it's going to end one cycle and bring you into another one. Possibly you're going to end up right back with you. If you dated with Aries in the past, maybe this person was sneaky. Or you was dealing with a sneaky ass air sign. Or you, you could be a father. This could be the mother or father of your children. It's time to move forward. And just allow God to be somebody. You settling for good and God trying to give you the bestest. Yes, I made up a word. The mother, the bestest. I'm the bestest, okay? God trying to give you the bestest. But you plan. Don't be bluffing like a fucking egg McMuffin. Go get your happiness, okay? Trust that you can have whatever you like if you just accomplish and hurdle that fear of feeling like you won't have it or somebody's going to judge you. Half of the people who judge in your situation, think about they fucked up loud. Just because they don't talk about it, they don't mean it ain't fucked up. Let's just be real. Some of you are dealing with a person who has a fear of commitment. They're going to tell you that during this time. It's not what's going on. It's how you look at it. But it doesn't mean that you got to allow this person in your life to keep treating you like shit. Oh, I accept the fact you have that fear. Oh, oh I accept it. I forgive you. Forget, I forgive you for holding that grudge. And, I, and I'm going to get out of my feelings. But that does not mean I got to allow your ass in my life because I know what I want. And I'm ready now. So wait for what? Wait for who? Nice for what? It's about honesty. Authenticity. Leadership. Trusting in yourself. And you're knowing. Because you know. Oh, Capricorn, you know. Much love. Much light. Many blessings and much abundance to you, family. I want to see you win. Y'all keep me updated. I want to know. And if you need that personal, hit me up. I love y'all.